What is going on, folk? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nimble Thor here, and today in my mobile gaming quest, we are going to play Identity V because, yes, I promised you guys a video of this game earlier this week. So, this is the new horror themed real time multiplayer game published by NetEase, which has 10 million daily active players already. I find that quite insane, honestly. So, we have to choose between playing as a survivor or a hunter. Let's go with the hunter here. I, I actually like that more, and it also seems that there are way too many of the. Um, of the guys trying to escape. Uh, the game will actually tell you that, and you guys can see that we found a match super, super quickly because we're willing to play the Honda, basically, instead of the ones who have to uh, have to escape. But the game starts out with a very long story, by the way, about our character, a detective, trying to solve a mystery in this haunted house here that we're in. It's a really great intro, but you should expect to spend at least 20, 30 minutes on it. It is honestly quite, uh, quite long, and I, I was kind of wondering if that was all there was to the game, but eventually you do get to this point where you can go into quick matches such as we're doing right now. Once you get into the game, the game feels a bit like a sniper versus thief sort of game, if you guys remember me playing that game on the channel. So there'll be four players, you guys can see them in the background right now, trying to escape, and then one player, which is us in this case, trying to catch everyone who's trying to escape. So the people trying to escape have to decipher enough boxes to finally, eventually be able to escape. And the hunter, which is us, has to knock them all out and send them flying to the moon on rocket chairs. And yes, that is seriously what's going on here. So let's have a look, guys. This is our character, and we have to see if we can find some of the uh, people trying to escape. So there are four of them in total, and they have to decipher five boxes. You guys can see the boxes lighting up in blue all around the map here. To begin with, I feel like we should just try to go to one of them and see if we can actually find one of the four people trying to escape. Later on, we have a couple of different skills that we can use to aid us in finding out exactly where they are. We can actually use one of them right now. This is one of the skills on the character that we're playing as right now. There are way... Oh, there's someone over here. There are way more characters, though, to pick from, and each of them have some different skills and abilities, and we can go into that later on. It feels a bit like a MOBA, in that you can pick between so many different characters, and you can do the same as one of the people trying to escape, basically. Why? What? Why is he running towards us? Did he have a flashlight? I have a feeling he was trying to get us with that flashlight somehow. But anyway, as you guys can see, we now hit him. We have to hit him twice in order to be able to capture him. And there we go. That was much easier than I anticipated, honestly. So now we can go out here and we can grab this guy, throw a few balloons to him. <laughs> and Look at this. We can go over here, find a chair, a rocket chair, as I told you guys about. And oh, 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 he's trying to make it difficult for us to get over here. There we go. We can bind him to this one. And now his friends can try to help him escape. But it, honestly, they also have to decipher all the other boxes. So they are most likely trying to do that to begin with. Let's have a look. Looks like nobody's really deciphering right now. Maybe we're just too far away. I have a feeling that there is a friend trying to help this guy. But I just want to continue, though. Uh, continue over here. It's a bit of a tricky situation. We could choose to stay over there. But then the other guys will have deciphered too many of the other boxes before we eventually... Oh, there is one right there. That was super lucky. We just randomly stumbled into one of them, guys. That is so lucky, and she's trying to get out here, but she can't really. Oh, yes, we got her. This is too easy, guys. This is too easy. There's another guy over there, but I want to take this one first. This is the nurse, by the way, so she could have healed some of the other guys. So it's really great that we're getting her already now. So now we have two of them locked down in a chair, it seems. Wait, did one of them escape? No, that guy's still over there. Okay, so we have to find just... Two more now. By the way, the EU and the US players play on the same server at this point. I don't know why exactly the uh, Netties have decided to do it like this. Maybe it's because they want to ensure that there are enough players at, at any given time to, to match. The matchmaking is extremely fast though, and in order to decrease ping, not a, that I've had any issues, any real issues with that honestly, but to decrease ping, I would expect that eventually they split that up into EU and US servers individually. But for now, we, we can play on the same server, so if you guys want to add me in-game, you can find me as NimbleThor in-game. Let's get this guy over here, and we will actually have won this match. That's awesome. The last one I played uh, as, a, as a hunter, I only tied, so if we can win this one, that would be super awesome. Let's see, where is she running? Oh, wait, one of them escaped? One of them escaped? Two of them escaped, actually. No way. No, yes. Okay, we gotta hit her once. We have to hit her twice, guys. Okay, she's trying to block the way so we can't get through there. Luckily, like this. Stomp through it anyway. Wait, there she is. There she is. Yes, we got it. We got it. Okay, the, let's tie her to a chair. If we tie them to a chair three times, by the way, they will instantly uh, get, uh, get shot to the moon from the chairs. Let's find a working chair, maybe one over here. It looks like, wait, okay, it looks like one of them escaped, one more escaped. Is that it? I hope not. Let's lock her down here. 
And let's go over to find the other one. We do have two different skills we can use, by the way. So these skills are kind of... Uh, how do you explain that? They're kind of a decoy that we can then uh, teleport back to instantly. So we can spawn one of them somewhere and we can get back to it instantly, which is really, really nice. Wait, I see her over here. See her over here. Oh, where is she? Wait, oh, she's hiding. She's hiding, but now we got her. I think at this point we should be able to just find a catapult and just throw her into the air and basically uh, win. Win at least uh, versus this character here. Where do we want to take her though? Where do we want to take her? We have to find a chair somewhere. Wait, were they all inside the house? Let's go inside the house. Let's see if there's a chair that isn't... Wait, you took too long? They got away? What? That can happen? I didn't know that could happen. Huh. Interesting. That is really interesting. Okay, let's get her again though. Let's get her once more. Oh, so she's... Oh, yes, we got her. Awesome. All right, so this time I know exactly where the chair is. So let's just run in here real quick. I think that's faster than jumping through the windows. Let's go over here. I saw a chair over here, right? Somewhere over here. And this time, let's hope she does not succeed in escaping first. There's a chair over here. Let's get to it. She's trying to make it really difficult for us to move, though. <laughs> Come on. We can do this, guys. We can do this. Yes, let's lock it down. There we go. Wounded, placed on rocket chair, and there we go. Have a look at this, guys. Can't spend too long time here, but there we go. She's she's thrown into the air. The controls work really well, by the way. I was really surprised about the just overall polish of this game. Yes, we got it once. Uh, obviously a really high quality game, but then again, that's, I guess, what you should expect from that ease. Yes, come on. No, we missed. No, we missed. She's running too much around. Wait, what is she doing, though? Come on. Yes, we got her. Yes, we got her. Okay, so they're deciphering over there again, so we have to be really quick here. Grab her and throw her to a rocket chair somewhere. Let's take the rocket chair over there. There should be... I'm, I'm picking this one over here because that's pretty far away from where the other players seem to be, so it'll take them a long time to get over here and try to help her. So let's get her locked to this chair. There we go, placed on rocket chair. And yes, there we go, firing away. Incoming, yes. <laughs> The game is very free to play friendly, by the way, in that, yes, we do have sort of a trade system could be compared to a rune or arcane system in many MOBA games, but these traits are general for any type of player we play as. So we don't have to uh, upgrade some for this character, some for another character. They're just uh, general for, for every single character. I have a feeling... Is there a character here somewhere? Isn't that what the sort of the glare on the screen is trying to tell us? We're pretty close to, to a player? I think that might be what it's trying to tell us, honestly. Let's go out of here. So that's, of course, awesome to see that they've made the game so free-to-play friendly. Um, I, I didn't expect anything else from NetEase, honestly. They've been making uh, some really great monetization decisions lately, I feel. But it's still really awesome to see that the game monetizes so nicely. Okay, there is someone over here. There's definitely someone over here. Yes. Wait. Wait. So now they just have to escape? Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Let's go over here. Let's hope someone some of them is over here. Otherwise, they're at the other end of the world map. So let's... Let's hope not. Sure hope not. Oh, uh, wait. I feel like they're over here. I feel like they're over here. Somewhere. Hmm. Can't really find them, though. Can't really find them. This could become kind of tricky. So they're not here? That means it must be in the other end, then. I think they tricked us, guys. I think this is going to be a tie where two of them are probably going to escape. And two of them won't. Let's see. Yeah, they're not up here, guys. They're definitely in the other end. Oh, no. I think they're, I think two of them might succeed in escaping, guys. Let's get out down there. It is really difficult to play as a hunter, though, by the way. <laughs> I'm just saying. We have item purchases, by the way, to unlock new characters. We can also unlock them through spending the in-game currency, just like in most other MOBA games, honestly. So this is a bit of a... This is a bit, it has many of those MOBA elements to it, honestly. Wait, wait. There he is. There he is. Guys, no. He's escaping. Let's knock him down. There was once. Just once more. Just once more. No. No, he's going to escape. Guys. Okay, one survivor left, though. So I guess we can hide in here, maybe. Try to lure them out. Uh, we're listening. Can't really see them anywhere. Wait. She's over there. She thinks she can get through here and actually escape. But nope. She won't be able to. Come on. What is she doing all the way over there? Is that just a decoy? Oh, she is over there. Oh, wait, he is over there. Okay, little doctor, I'm gonna get you. You cannot escape. Let's get him, guys. Let's get him. I don't want this to be a tie. I want to win, and we do win if... No! No, he tricked us. He tricked us, guys. We're gonna get him, though. We're gonna get him. Don't worry. We're gonna get him. We have to get him, right? We 
have to get him. As if we can just hit him, he will not have any chance. Yes! Okay, so we hit him once. Just once more, guys. He's definitely just running for it. He's going for it. He's going for it. Come on. No! No way, guys. I'm not... No way! <laughs> he escaped, though! He escaped! Okay, I, I feel like that was kind of fair, though. They did a really good job. There was a narrow victory, so there was a tie. We do get some experience points, though. I feel like we should be getting some. Let's have a look. Yes, we did get some experience points. Not enough to level up, but this is still so cool. I'm just loving this game, guys. This video has already become pretty long, but I have an awesome fact at the end of the video, so I just want to show you guys real quick that now we can actually go in here and we can unlock some new stuff, and I just wanted to show you that before we go uh, to the trivia or the fact of the day. Let's have a look at what we unlocked. So we unlocked... Uh, we got some more points, basically, just that we can spend on getting new characters, new skins for our existing characters, and all that good stuff. So let's just go use a few more of these die real quick. Let's see what we're gonna get. We got a free there. It's gonna move up here, and we have two more we can use? That's insane, though. Oh, we got a four on this one. That's awesome. I wanna get a six, though. I feel like we can get a six. Should be a six-sided uh, die, isn't it? And let's see, another four. That's not bad, though. I'm definitely not complaining about that. And then let's go have a look in here and see what we can unlock. Let's unlock this one. Open one of these. We got one of those for free. Let's have a look. What do we get? We got a Rose Knight. Oh, that's a skin, I feel like. Yeah, that's a skin. Awesome. We don't have the character, but at least now we have the skin. So let's open one more over here. We have one more. So let's open that before we end up uh, with, the, uh, with the trivia of the day here. What is that? That is a silhouette, a graffiti, all right, so we can uh, basically throw graffiti around the map just kind of to tease, to tease the other players. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. Now for the fact of the day, which is that RuneScape, which was recently released, uh, in beta at least, on mobile, has now generated $800 million in lifetime revenue from 250 million players in total over the past 17 years where the game has uh, has existed. I feel like that's quite insane, honestly. 250 million players and 800 million dollars. But then again, if you compare it to more recent mobile games that have made over a billion dollars in a month, it's suddenly nothing, right? But it also says something about the monetization in some of those mobile games, obviously, earning that much in that short uh, of a period of time. That's why I like RuneScape, because I like the way the game monetizes with simply a free play model and then a monthly subscription but anyway guys if you like this video please leave a like if you're new to the channel be sure to subscribe because we cover a new mobile game every single day from monday till friday and until next time guys just keep gaming stay awesome and i'll see you guys around